Hello and welcome to another episode of Get Over Here SG. I am Scorpion and today we are on another bone chilling body cam horror game called Bonefield. Yes, I'm in my dressing gown. It's an early morning video make and plus I'm early. I've got tons of light. Ugh, I'm early. <laughs> what the fuck? Plus I'm ill. Because I've got tonsillitis, um, and I've still got this crazy cough going on. I'm just not well, but I'm still fighting on to bring out this content for you guys to watch, and I hope hope you're enjoying it. Because I'm enjoying these games, um, so yeah, uh, we'll get into it. Let me just put a light on, just so it's a bit brighter. Not that bright. There we go. So yeah, today we're playing a game called Bonefield. It's uh, another body cam horror game. Um, <clears throat> it's like uh, a police investigator goes to some house about some murders or something like that. Um, and he captures all these creepy weird stuff on camera. Um, and it it is jump scary uh, to be fair I did play it last night um, I was recording uh, and I was basically talking to myself and because I pressed a certain button on my keypad it stopped the recording so yeah that's why I was talking to myself so I was a bit pissed off that my video didn't get made so we're here today anyway it's basically a bit like uh, the body cams I've been playing, um, like, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Rootman, which is on my last video. If you've not seen it, head over to there. Uh, it's a great game. Um, a couple made it within 48 hours, um, but I think they've done an absolute amazing job within 48 hours of what they've done. Uh, it is download. You can download it now on Steam for free, obviously, because it's a demo. Uh, but if they get enough uh, wish lists for it, they're going to make a full game. So, yeah. I uh, hope you can check that video out. I'll put it I'll put it in uh, the link in that on the description. Um, so, yeah, we'll just jump into it now. Welcome to the Spark Technologies Particle Accelerator presentation. The Particle Accelerator is a device that accelerates a beam of fast-moving, electrically charged atoms, ions, or subatomic particles. Accelerators are used to study the structure of atomic nuclei, C atom, and the nature of subatomic particles and their fundamental interactions. At speeds close to that of light, particles collide with and disrupt atomic nuclei and subatomic particles, allowing physicists to study nuclear components and to make new kinds of subatomic particles. The cyclotron accelerates positively charged <coughs> particles, while the betatron accelerates negatively charged electrons. Synchrotrons and linear accelerators are used either with positively charged particles or electrons. Accelerators are also used for radioisotope production cancer therapy, biological sterilization, and one form of radiocarbon dating. My name is Dr. Jeff Parker Gray. I was recently let go for reasons. So, I've been essentially forced to work at home, and I've moved my project to the basement. What happened in the lab, though, the other week? That day, I felt uneasy ever since. I'm afraid to even try it again. But also, I can't stop thinking about it. I have to do more research. So this one's based in 2005 as well, like uh, my last video, Rootman. So it, that's a bit strange. Oh, they're both uh, in the year 2005. 
I'll have to see if there's any other ones. Of what I've got. Montana see. Police Department. Confidential warning. Disturbing content. Dear viewer, we must issue a solemn and urgent warning regarding the body cam footage you are about to witness. This footage, captured by one of our undercover officers during a recent investigation, contains highly sensitive and disturbing material. We advise viewer discretion as it may deeply unsettle and provoke distress. The content of this footage is deemed top secret and is classified for valid reasons. Not only does it depict scenes of extreme violence and graphic imagery, but it is also believed to contain elements of the paranormal and potentially demonic occurrences. The events captured defy logical explanation and may challenge conventional beliefs about the nature of our reality. We implore you to approach this material with caution. It may provoke feelings of fear, anxiety, and uneasy. Furthermore, we must stress that attempts to disseminate, replicate, or discuss the contents of this footage without proper authorization from the Montana Police Department will result in severe legal consequences. It is our duty to protect the public and uphold the law, and we do not take the decision to release this footage lightly. However, we believe that transparency is essential, albeit in a controlled and regulated manner. Please proceed with caution and remember that support services are available should you require assistance after viewing this distressing material. Sincerely, Montana Police Department. Only one entity is identifiable in Tape 1. Entity 05, Designation Decay. The image is highly edited to highlight the paranormal anomaly to the right of the image. We will now play the footage. Proceed with caution as it contains flashing lights and disturbing imagery. So that image they just shown uh, was basically this um, weird, strange, paranormal demon, whatever the hell it is. So uh, we'll get straight into it. So we start off on a footpath. Our car's just behind us. There's the reg if you want to try and find the car. <laughs> uh, looks so nice and realistic. I love these body cam horror games. Uh, it just gives you that different feel. Like the glare of the sun and everything on the cameras just like just perfect like look at the rims can you tell what car that is by just looking at it like that so this is the house We're just going about to head in now. Can hear someone walking around already. So I basically have to wait for two packages. One's like the uh, the purple flashlight, and another one's a weapon. Um, so I've just got to check around the house for a minute until they get posted for me. A little, uh, see the sun reflecting on the light, uh, on the lens. How dirty that is. There's one package. So 
So we're just going to wait for the second package now. There's an Atari there. Used to have one of them donkeys ago. <laughs> you uh, 2,000 kids wouldn't even know what that is, probably. <laughs> Yeah, let's turn the light off for a minute, so you can uh, see what it looks like. There's a basement, uh, there's upstairs obviously. Uh, there's a door here, but I can't get into that door, even if I just walk into it. Uh, right, so it's basically going to start now, so you have one hour to survive um, and try and not get killed. one loud ass motherfucking clock so basically these entities are invisible uh, the only way you know that they're coming towards you are footsteps so you gotta keep listening out where the footsteps are coming from and then you take you take a picture like that and it will show you that it's in front of you if you capture it So I'm going to go downstairs into the basement. Where are you, bub? He walks strange as well, though, like he's got a limp. You just don't know when he's going to come at you. So you just got to keep listening. I can hear him. I don't know what the gun is here for because I don't think the gun does anything. To be fair. <laughs> Sometimes my footsteps uh, make me think that it's the actual entity. So we'll uh, go upstairs now. Don't know why, but every time I walk towards this part, I always think that dartboard's ahead. <laughs> Someone looking out. So many noises. More Atari games. Little kids room.
are one ugly motherfucker. Trying to sneak up on me like that, bitch. So yeah, at the minute, because it's a demo, you're just stuck inside this house and you've got to survive for an hour. Because if it gets too close to you, it kills you, obviously. Where are you, bub? Dead tents. Because <laughs> it just feels like it's real. That was close. I keep shooting, but I don't think I'm even hitting the guy. be hard in here because if you hear his footsteps you don't know which side he's going to come on backed up in the corner because I can't hear anything with that clock and he could have been walking up on me isn't that an hour though it's still at 7 o'clock That must have been 15 minutes then. Whoa. Well, I guess I did it. <laughs> um, 
Okay. <laughs> Just give me a minute and I'll get another game up. One second. So this one's called The Guard. Um, I got seven other games with it as well. Um, it was... It only cost me two pound sixty three or something like that. So I got, I got the guard. I got spooky shelter, uh, psychi psychiatric hospital, night of horror, gate of souls. Um, let me just click along. A night in prison, hotel in the dark, the beast inside, and winter. So I think I got more than seven there. So yeah, I I got all them games just for basically two quid. So uh, we'll cut, we'll head into this and see what it's all about because I've never played this yet. So um, a second, okay. Options. Let's check that out first because we didn't get to check them out on the other game because they didn't have any. Um, okay, just leave that as it is. So it's like another sort of first person. Horror game, I'll take that. So how do I get my flashlight on? Eh? Yeah. Should have known that. <laughs> Fucking hell, his feet are loud. <laughs> yeah, it's not the most amazing graphic game in that, but sometimes these... These sort of games can oh, fuck off. Can be like proper scary as well, like dead jumpy. Oh, so I've just put the lights on in here, so I can turn that off. Uh, yeah, you're dark. Right, let's close that door. It's loud. That's to the left. We'll check this room first. So shift is run. So we're like in a supermarket or a shopping mall. Lot. What? I didn't even see what that said then. Sports shop. Wow, how loud are his feet? <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? That was at the back wall, wasn't it? I'm sure that was on that back wall, not there. Whoa, what the fuck? Right, some Silent Hill shit going on here. That 
fucking freak me out. I turn around and they were just there. Whoa. You can... Stay right there, bitches. Fuck me, how fast do they move? Those are shop doors. Them fuckers out from it. What the? Oh shit. What am I supposed to do? There's a shitload over there. Whoa! Ass bitches, stay there. What the? F that is proper Silent Hill shit. That. Right. We need to. I don't know how I'm gonna get past all these. There's a shitload over there. I knew that mannequin was on the back wall. Now I turn around, there's three in the bloody door. Keep peeping just in case. <laughs> Toilet area. Oh, one of the worst places to go if there's things behind you. <laughs> See what I mean? The, these like low budget games can just be as creepy as uh, the big budget ones because that that did freak me out when I turned around and they were just stood there Messy ass toilet. At least I'm uh... mannequins out following me through here. Okay. I think this goes back to where it was. Yeah. Creepy ass fucking mannequins. Emergency exit. Can I get out? Thought keep left. Oh 
go to the next floor, see what that's about. Not very like safe, are they? Oh, so another battery. Turn that off. Creepy ass door. Let's shut that. So it's basically like downstairs. Um, let's see if there's any mannequins around. Fucking torches everywhere. Can't go on the lift. Oh no. It's just mannequins in it everywhere. Look at them. Keep turning. What the fuck's that? Oh, door handle. I thought someone was floating in the door. Oh. Yeah, you're creepy. Just turn the head looking at me like that. Bitch. So I don't think they get active unless you go inside the shop. <coughs> Ugh! You bastard! <laughs> I fucking shit my tits, man. <coughs> <coughs> fucking hell, that was out of the blue, mate. Oh my god. Just the sound. Oh no, his fucking batteries are running out. Just the sound of him going, ugh. <laughs> Look at it. Definitely like um, Silent Hill, isn't it? It's 
funny, the other mannequins don't move. Ah, I can't move. Gotta keep a look on it. I'm well on edge. So I got away from them ones anyway. Proper made me jump all that, mate. That's <laughs> what we like, though. Good old uh, jump scare. Excuse me. I do apologise. See if them uh, mannequins are still there. Oh no, they've moved. So have they gone? What? Where have they moved? There's a whole bunch of them there. As well as uh, Oh fuck, where the fuck did you come from? Turn for a split second in the work. So I think they don't come after you once you get to a certain. What's that? Oh god, social dins distancing. That was all bullshit. Fucking COVID. Mm. I'll have an apple pie, please, and a cappuccino. Thank you, sure. Batteries are going. Oh. How lucky was that?
So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do as the guard, but obviously... Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Is there, girls? I'm taking these batteries. Oh. I wonder if they have to get through that door there. Eh? Run! <coughs> oh my god. I had to get through there. <laughs> oh well, it was fun while it lasted. Uh, so yeah, that, that one's called The Guard. If you want to download it, uh, it only costs two quid, but you get seven other games or more. Because uh, when I was reading them out, it seemed to be more than seven. But yeah, uh, the first one <coughs> is called Bonefield. It's only a demo at the minute. Um, if you want to head over and download it and see what you think about it, and if you like scary games or like make one of your family members play it and scare the shit out of them go over and to steam and download it uh it is it is a pretty good game to be fair uh i can't believe i got through it because last night i got jump scared god knows how many times <laughs> uh and the second one was called the guard uh obviously i just said it before but i'll say it again if you misheard me it's called the guard and it is two pounds sixty three, I think it was, and you get seven other games with it. Like they're all horror games. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, do appreciate you watching my videos, as always. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It'd be most appreciated. Um, and I'll see you again next time. Take care and goodbye.